Hi, I'm Rue from Chicago. Please like and subscribe. My mom was a renowned doctor and loved me to bits. But when I was six, I fell from a tree and hit my head. And even though I recovered fine, mom went crazy. She never let me out of her sight after that. When I started school, she hugged me and cried like a baby at the gate. And she'd even drop by during recess to check on me. Blood? Oh my God, what happened? She picked me up and started running to the hospital. Mom, put me down. You should just catch up. And suddenly, we both went crashing into the food counter. By the time I was in eighth grade, I was super popular and a star player on the basketball team. Once during my match, I fell and bruised my knee, and mom leapt out of the audience, screaming hysterically. It was so embarrassing. And then, she forced the principal to grant me one month's leave to recover. Ugh! I spent the next week in bed watching MSA videos about crazy moms like mine. But a few days later, it was my friend's birthday party, and I felt well enough to sneak out. But just as I was about to kiss this cute guy there, mom barged in and smashed the music system. That music's loud enough to hurt my baby's ears. Mom, are you crazy? How did you even find me? Apparently, she had a tracker installed in my phone to always know my location. On the way home, we had a huge argument. If you ever do something like that again, I'm gonna leave for good and I'll throw away my phone, mom. You won't be able to find me. And surprisingly, that worked. She kind of backed off and I was relieved to be back at school soon. Guys, I'm back. I was hoping for an awesome welcome, but to my surprise, no one bothered to say hi. And just as I was about to sit, someone pulled my seat and I fell on my butt. You can't sit there, it's Sally's seat. Wait, what? This is my seat. And who's frickin' Sally anyway? Me. I'm Sally. And you are? I turned around to see a tall blonde girl offering me a hand. I'm Rue, and I think you're new because I've never... Oh, Rue! The one with the crazy mom. It's nice to finally meet you. I just joined this month. And it's okay, you can take this seat. She smiled and went to another seat, and all the kids followed her. What the heck? A new girl had taken my place while I was gone for just a month? After that, I noticed how everyone was just too pleased by her, even the teachers. Oh, Miss Olsen, did you get a new haircut? It looks so nice on you. Thanks, Sally. You're the only one to notice. You aren't just smart, you're kind too. And she helped the other kids with their homework too. Guys, I got this. You can copy from my assignment as long as you change some things. Sally, you're the best. Well, I doubted that. She was just too good to be true and just happened to appear out of thin air and take my popularity. But I wasn't gonna lose to her. A basketball match was coming up and I was gonna show her who the real champ was. But on the day of the match, I could see Sally cheering for me with everyone else. In fact, she was cheering the loudest. Woohoo, it's nice to have the champion back. Go Rue! Just then, I slipped on the basketball court and fell flat on my butt with a sprained ankle. OMG, someone help me pick her up, she's hurt. Sally made me lean on her and took me to the nurse's room. She stayed with me the whole time the nurse attended to me. And I was beginning to think I'd misjudged her. She really was quite nice. Later when I reached home, mom came running and hugged me tight. Oh my God, are you okay? Let's go to the hospital right now. Ugh, mom, I'm fine. It's just a small sprain. That's enough. You're not gonna play that stupid game anymore. Mom grabbed my shoes to throw them away, and that's when I noticed grease all under my shoe. Oh my God, someone did it on purpose to make me slip. And I knew in my bones it could be none other than Sally. But since I had no proof, I decided to play nice for a while and keep an eye on her. A few days later, there was a big selection quiz for the Nationals team, and I saw Sally mixing something in the free juices for all the contestants. Minutes later, the kids were clutching their tummies and running in and out of the bathroom. Ah, oh, that evil witch! Of course she was selected for the finals, but I knew what she had done and decided to confront her. I followed her to the girls' washroom and pushed her to the wall. I'm not fooled by you, Sally. I know what you did there. I saw you mixing something. Oh, Rue, what's wrong with you? Why are you hitting me? 
and saying that, she slapped her own face really hard and started crying loudly. What? Suddenly, some girls came out of the washroom cubicles and pushed me aside. Gosh, Rue, look at her face. You slapped her so hard. It's all red. We're gonna tell the principal that you're bullying Sally. No, no, don't do that. I don't want to cause trouble. We should give Rue a chance to fix this. If she says sorry to me, I'll let it go this time. What the freaking frogs? Me? Say sorry to her? Ugh, no way. I pushed her harder this time and stormed out of there. But now I knew she was a cunning fox and I had to play smarter than her. Soon, the elections for the new school president were announced and I was super excited to participate. But guess who else was running for president? Sally. She already had loads of kids working for her campaign and making her posters. One day while I was in the library working on mine, I heard some noises. I went ahead to check and I was shocked to see Sally bullying a kid. What do you mean you didn't complete my assignment? I need it back within an hour or I'll kick your butt, you moron. She took his glasses off and threw them on the ground and crushed them. The guy looked terrified as Sally walked away. Just then, I had a mind-blowing plan. I quickly went in and picked up the guy from the floor. Hey, you don't have to be scared of her, okay? I'll help you get rid of her, but you'll have to help me too. You just have to speak the truth in front of everyone and I'll make sure she never lays a finger on you again. Deal? The guy looked at me with teary eyes and nodded. A few days later, we had an event where each candidate had to speak up in front of the entire school. And I was all set to see my plan in action. Minutes before Sally was about to come on stage, I was so happy to see the guy she'd bullied standing there already. Sally's whole act was about to be exposed. Yippee! I, I need to tell you all something. One of the candidates here is a chameleon who pretends to be your friend, but in reality, she's a bully. And saying that, he pointed at me. What in the mother frickin' world? That's her, Rue. She even smashed my glasses the other day and put my head inside the toilet. She's a bully. What? Have you lost your mind? What are you talking about? It was Sally, can't you remember? She smashed your glasses. Who's Sally? And please, please, don't kill me. Please, someone save me from her. Saying that, he ran and hid behind the other kids, and all of them went bonkers on me. Rue, we already knew you could be a bully, and now you're blaming Sally for this? Everyone knows Sally would never do something this horrible. Yeah, we saw what happened in the washroom the other day. You're the bad person here, and you don't deserve to be the president. And they all started throwing paper balls at me. I ran out of there to save my butt, but I was so gonna kill Sally now. After the event was over, I followed Sally and saw her kissing that jerk who betrayed me in front of everyone. That's how she turned him on her side. She was such a devil. I heard them laughing and talking about how they'd humiliated me in front of everyone. I couldn't take it anymore. I went ahead and kicked him in the butt. You, you're such a world-class jerk. You lied in front of everyone for a wicked lizard like her. Watch your mouth, Rue, or I'll tear off your tongue. Whoa, <laughs> look at that. Finally, your true colors are coming out, Sally. But guess what? I've known from day one that you're a witch, and soon I'll prove it to everyone. You recorded us? Oh yes, I did. You know, I'm tired of pretending to be nice to you. I wish you had slipped and hit your head that day, but you just got away with a little sprain. But today, I'm gonna kill you, squid face. Saying that, she charged at me like a mad bull, and we broke into a wild fight. Within minutes, the cheating jerk came in and held me by my hands. Let go of me, you idiot, or I'll put your face in the toilet seat for real this time. I tried to fight them both, but they locked me inside a small janitor's room. No one's going to come here till tomorrow, Rue, and I'm going to be the next student president by then. And your little phone? I'm going to destroy it. Both of them left, and I tried to break open the door, but nothing worked. When I'd almost given up, I suddenly heard a loud thud on the door, and it flew open. Mom! Oh God, I can't believe you found me! I hugged her tight. Are you okay, sweetie? What happened to you? Wait, Mom, how did you find me here? Oh, honey, after you said you were gonna throw away your phone the next time you run, I may have put a tracker device 
in all of your shoes. Mom! Okay, sorry, but see, it helped. I was able to help you today after you didn't come home for so long. She was unbelievable. I immediately ran out to find Sally and saw she was making a bonfire in the school backyard. And she had my phone in her hand. I went in and hit her from behind and the guy ran away seeing mom with me. What are you doing? Let go of me, you witch. I'm gonna kill you this time. Oh, you can try, but you're not getting away with anything now. This time, I tied her and made sure she didn't run away until we called the principal and her parents. Oh, we are really sorry, but she has a histrionic personality disorder. Because of that, she wants to be noticed and praised all the time. We kept it out of her records when she joined the school. Oh, God. I didn't know I was taking such a dangerous kid. But uh, you've been really brave, Rue. I'm gonna announce you as the next student president tomorrow. No, I'm the best one. I'm the best. She's nothing. Saying that, she broke the ties and leapt towards me. I'm gonna burn this entire school with you in it, loser. Thankfully, the principal had called security and they took her away. After everything was over, I turned to mom thinking she'd go all crazy again. But she hugged me. Oh, honey, are you okay? I was so scared. I'm fine, mom. Thanks for saving my life today. I love you, but no more tracking devices, please.